Well, new here at 6, the busiest street in Provincetown isn't very easy to navigate in the summer when you have bikers and pedestrians and cars all jockeying for the same space. But that could change. WBZ's Laura Hayfley explains a controversial move now under consideration to make commercial streets safer. A change could be coming to one of the biggest bike towns in America. I've seen some bad accidents. This is Commercial Street, the chaotic cross section at the epicenter of Provincetown, Massachusetts, congested with bikes, pedicabs, e-scooters, pedestrians, and more. I don't drive down into town because it's too crazy. For 12 years, Julie Tremblay's owned a gallery along the busy street, and she spent more than a decade dodging traffic to get there. I've had bikes run into my vehicle. Now, town officials are considering a solution to cut down on traffic between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Commercial Street between Center Street and Masonic Place could become a walk only zone. Regardless of the device you were on, you would get off and walk it. The plan aiming to protect pedestrians after the introduction of e devices led to an uptick in accidents. In 2023, there were 124 accidents along Commercial Street, a 44% increase from 2022 and a 169% increase from 2021. We know that that we're not going to be able to prevent every bad thing from happening, but what we're trying to do is reduce the number of accidents. There are steps being taken before what town manager Alex Morse calls the last resort. Pamphlets, texts, and signage reminding riders of the rules of the road, including which way vehicles can or can't go, and to slow down. So I had to see for myself how chaotic it really is to ride a bike down Commercial Street. So we're going through the main crosswalk in Provincetown. They're actually asking me to slow down, so I'm gonna stop for a second. This is probably the most chaotic part. It's the crosswalk that leads into the major parking lot. All right, they're telling me to go. And pedestrians definitely rule the road. Gonna slow down here, trying to get in between some, some cars. That car didn't even really slow down. I think I would be in a little bit more control if I was walking. So here's another little bit of a problem. We've got commercial vehicles, this FedEx truck that needs to be down here delivering packages, but it makes it more chaotic. But some say the chaos of Commercial Street is part of its charm. And despite the danger, the walk only zone won't work. Too many people. Not enough police officers, not enough enforcement. Since 1937, Arnold's bike rental has relied on the summer months to get through the whole year. Owner Robert Beaton concerned the new zone could slow business down. You have basically three months to make all your money. The town made the decision to have scooters and electric bikes. Now they let the cat out of the bag and they don't know what to do. Town officials won't make a decision until they hear from the public on June 24th. In Provincetown, Massachusetts, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News. Hmm. But there is a town hall meeting on Monday to discuss the proposal that would force the bikers to walk their bikes down Commercial Street. Yeah, if you've been there, you know how chaotic it is. But Laura did a really nice job of showing us what it looks like from the perspective of somebody on a bike and how people are trying to Going get into traffic. It is, it is something. We'll be right back.